G'day, it's Darren from Everything Micro FPV, and this is the Beta FPV X Knight 35. Unlike the Beta FPV 2021 Twig, the X Knight 35 carries a more traditional style of build, similar to what you see on other competitors in the 3.5 inch class, and it pivots away from the toothpick style seen on the X Knight 5 inch and 4 inch quads. It raises the question as to why it's sharing the same name. After all, it doesn't even use the Knight Canopy. The 2021 Twig would have been better suited to the X-Knight 35 name, and coming up with something new would have been a better option. After all, the X-Knight quads of the past didn't exactly win over pilots. A simple name such as the Asteroid 35, which follows on the success of the Meteor 65 and 75 Whoop series, would have been more appropriate. The HX-115LR, Tongue Twister, could have been the Asteroid 25. This would provide more brand consistency as well. They could even take the x Knight 35 and enlarge it to produce a 5 inch sub 250 quad and call it the Asteroid 5. But hey, what do I know? The x Knight 35 comes with the Cadex Polar Vista Kit and shares much of the same running gear as the Twig. 1404 3800 KV motors which are the established choice in the segment. The V3 of the Toothpick all-in-one flight controller and ESC runs an F4 processor, 20 amp of continuous current, BL Heli S, 3 UARTs and an 8 megabyte black box. Beta FPV recommend their own 750 milliamp hour battery, however it shouldn't make any difference with an 850 milliamp hour one that you probably already have. You'll need an XT30 connector though. HQ or Gemfan 3520s are the prop of choice and receiver options include Express LRS and TBS Crossfire. Having built my 2021 Twig and it all running the same parts, I bought the frame kit for the x Knight 35. I wasn't impressed by the poor print quality of the TPU parts and not to mention the extremely poor fit of the carbon camera cage which was very loose. Overall, flight performance is as expected. When you're following the same recipe as the rest of the market, the cake is pretty much going to taste the same, but maybe a little bit more or less decorated differently than the others. While it does come with the Cadex Polar, the DVR is more than usable. However, with a number of cheap naked GoPro cameras coming to market, you may as well invest in one. And your flight footage, well, the video stabilization is going to take most of the small bumps and jitters out of the flight. Now, yes, this is fun to fly, and I would buy and recommend it over both the Baby Hawk 2 and the Gep RC Smart 35. However, that's not just because of the ELRS receiver option. Rather, it doesn't come with the flaws of the frame design the Baby Hawk has and the Smart 35. So, if you're in the market now and don't have time to spare, then this is the one of the three to get. However, I've pre ordered the Diatone Roma F35, which follows a different recipe, and I think that would be worth waiting for. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.